back to the channel everybody uh, as you can tell by the title of this video I'm trying something new here in 2021 uh, I'm gonna attempt to play 12 new courses in 12 months 12 courses that I haven't played and uh, and then I'll give a review of the course after after the round and today I am playing a course out in Davis called uh, Wild Horse it's the first time I've been here it's a little windy today beautiful day though so this will be course number 12 or 1 however you want to however you want to word it uh, it'll be in the description when I decide so we'll see I'll take you guys along hopefully it'll be a good day so yeah if you're here for the if you're here for the golf in 2021 that's great and you want to skip over the fishing that's fine or if you're here for the fishing you want to skip over the golf that's fine too if you're here for both, then that's awesome because I'm going to do a lot of both this year. And I'll take you guys along throughout the whole journey. Remember, if you like this video, hit that like button down below. Give me a subscribe if you haven't. There's going to be a lot of content coming this year. Thanks, guys. Hole number one here at Wild Horse. Pretty straightforward par four. Decent landing area in the fairway here. You do have some trouble down the right-hand side with this lake and a couple... Uh, fairway bunkers and this green is protected by a couple deep bunkers on the left and right of the green so first hole I'm kind of rushing a little bit kind of got to the tee box a little late with all the camera gear and everything it's supposed to be with the group in front of me but hit a good tee shot right in the middle of the fairway had 120 yards left just hit a pitching wedge I believe it's just right at the flag uh, let's make uh, start out with a birdie or not. Of course, I've never played before. That'd be nice. Uh, if not, we'll just minimize the damage to put the par get out of here. So as you can see, I came up well short. Sure looked like a better shot from the fairway. Just trying to lag it up here to a decent length, and this was just a sloppy, rushed three putt bogey here on the first hole. Hole number two plays back the opposite direction of the first hole, so that lake down the right-hand side is a little bit more in play on this tee shot. But I put another one right in the middle of the fairway here, just had a nine iron in hand and hit a less than stellar iron shot here, pushed it out to the right. Ball got up in that wind and just kept drifting right. Stayed up on a little plateau up there, so should be all right. But. Now that I caught up with this group, I rushed that first hole. A really bad bogey. For a split second, I thought this had a chance to go in, but I did put it close. I was able to convert the par. I have a pretty high ball flight, so when you combine that with a bad swing and a lot of left to right wind, you get results like this every once in a while. Did it hit the car It's right there. I see it. It's playable. Pretty fortunate that that tee shot stayed in. I had a shot at it, just using a hybrid here, trying to get it up close to the green, put a wedge in my hand for a chance for an up and down for par. Not a very good chip. Left myself pretty lengthy par putt. So I gave this par attempt a pretty good chance, but did just miss on the left side. Was able to tap in for a bogey. So one of my goals this year is to get better with my iron game. This is another one that I kind of blocked severely out to the right, leaving myself with a tough up and down here for par. Left myself with about a 10 foot par putt the little slight downhill left to right break and put it right in the middle of the cup. This is the first par five on the card. You have trouble all down the left hand side with a lake, some bunkers, but they're pretty wide open fairways, pretty forgiving. I put another one right in the middle. Just laying up here with a three wood, flirting with that lake on the left, but did manage to keep it out just here in the rough a little bit. And again, my iron play. It's a point of emphasis to get better on this year. So after that bad iron shot and that chip, I did still have a chance to save par, but unfortunately catches just a little piece of the lip. 
tapping in for a bogey. <laughs> Did I mention I want to get better with my irons this year? Gonna run up to the green. Yes, that was terrible. And so was this chip. I'm fortunate that it still managed to find its way onto the green and I did have a look at par. I'm a long way back. Give it a good wrap for a second. I really thought this was going to go in. But I left myself a nice little tester for bogey and I'm able to drain that putt. Struggles continued on this tee shot. Kind of drop kicked a little bit. Took a lot of the distance off. Pulled it to the left. Kind of blocked myself out under a tree. Thought about going for the green with the three wood, but I would have had to carry a lake and I just didn't have confidence in it. So I just punched a hybrid back into the fairway there and hit a decent shot. Left myself with a wedge in. So after that tee shot to even have a chance at birdie was shocking. And I just make a terrible putt here. Just kind of swiped at it. But tap in for a par. Can't complain about pars. But I'll take it. Yeah, that drive started way left, worked its way all the way back into the fairway. Hit a decent three wood here, but did come up a little short of the green here. Chipping and putting are usually my strong points of my game, but I kind of struggled with both on this day and particularly this hole. Make a terrible putt here and just get up and think I'm just going to tap it in for a bogey and walk off with a double. Hole 9 here looks like it's a pretty narrow fairway, but as long as you clear that creek there, it does open up. And I hit this one just a little bit to the left. Actually still in the fairway here, in front of this bunker. And I hit a really decent wedge here. Pretty good shot there. It went a little long, but spun back. Spun back probably about 10, 15 feet. So I got a good look at birdie. Let's see if we can convert, turn this around on the back nine. Here and roll back down the hill. I've got a chance here to end with a birdie on the front nine. A little downhill. Breaks a little hard to the left there, the hole. But I'm able to tap in for a par and a front nine score 42. That's going to do it for part one at Wild Horse. Make sure you stay tuned for the second part. Thanks for watching, guys. Also, please remember if you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Leave me some comments. We'll see you guys next time.